Well, the Milan Pact gives a overarching framework to promote a healthy, sustainable food system for everyone. And in that sense, uh, for us in Toronto, uh, we apply what we call an equity lens to everything we do. And we recognize that food is a public good and that if you apply an equity lens, it means that some people are more impacted than others by climate change, by food insecurity, even by where they live in the city. And so when you have a systemic approach that is represented perhaps by the Milan Pact and the promotion of sustainable food systems, then I believe that uh, food, uh, the right to food, is, is integral to that. And it means that we need to recognize that right for every population, no matter where you live, in the city or anywhere in the globe. We, in our language in Toronto, we have found that we can make a little bit more progress politically if we talk about food as a public good rather than the right to food for some reason. People sometimes get a little bit frightened of that right to food language. Uh, but I believe that food as a public good is the same essence as the right to food and we are obviously supportive of that approach and promote that in everything we do. So the way that we work is very much uh, top down and bottom up at the same time, which means that the top down is always working for systemic change and food system transformation. But at the same time, bottom up means real engagement at the grassroots level and always paying attention to equity as the, the, the main element of what we have to address here. So when you talk about zero hunger, it's got to have a, a systemic uh, approach to that rather than a charitable approach, let's give poor people food. Uh, so we very much uh, are uh, supporting this right to food approach and sometimes we uh, do it very explicitly in our work and sometimes we can get further making it uh, not so explicit but just a guiding principle.